But yeah, you guys, Twitch asked for this. You, you can't complain. This is what you asked for. I had no idea what it was going to look like until now. It's really... It's something. It's definitely something. <laughs> but these are the settings for anybody wondering. It was disable goal reset was on. I think I'll turn that off. Yeah, we'll do this normal on that. Uh, I also disabled demolish, but I'll enable it again. Disable demolish was just so that one team wouldn't accidentally demo me when they're trying to score. Uh, but these are the settings. Slow ball, cube, he heavy, small ball, low bound seniors. So it's like a super small, heavy ball. And yeah, they're going to do twos. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cast this. This is try hard mode. <laughs> Oh good luck, have fun, guys. This, good, this is going to be the highest level Rocket League that we've ever seen. If anybody dribbles the ball, then they automatically win. Okay. All right, I've muted myself. For the biggest try-hard game in history. By the way, Toasty, if you're still in the chat, do you want to change the title, by the way? Yeah. Yummy Cheese Man, welcome back for the fourth month. Appreciate it, buddy. Congratulations on all your recent success. It's uh, great to see. We just did, of course, play the Scarab Ball uh, using these settings, and the reason for the ball being given these settings was purely- Oh my goodness, that nearly went in. It was purely to make the ball difficult to move, as difficult to move as possible. So every setting that we've given the ball makes it really, really hard to move the ball. We haven't changed the car physics in any way. We haven't changed the gravity physics in any way. <laughs> oh my goodness, Metz is just getting plowed here. But this could be very interesting because the ball is going to be so heavy to move and it's also a cube so it's very hard to manipulate um, pretty much any way that you want it to go. It's going to fight against you. So I, I would be surprised if we see many goals here but I mean we were pretty close to seeing one at the start. Oh Magnus is too strong for Turbo. Jesse's trying to dribble. If anybody does get the ball on top of their car, like we've seen a couple of ball carries in the fun lobby last time. Look at this, Magnus is plowing right through it. Who needs to jump into a 50-50 when the ball is a cube and you're driving a scarab? But that's a decent bump. Metz and Norris loses control. It's turning into pretty much the game that we expected. Very difficult to score, but the pop from Turbo! Oh my goodness, Turbo with the little wiggle. We always like to see that from him, but he manages to get the ball on top of his car and pop it. Very nicely done. He even popped it backwards and Magnus wasn't able to get in the way. Jesse was undefeated in the scarab ball game mode, but I don't know how he's going to fare in this one. This is shaping up. It looks like the best strategy is actually to just push the ball in front of you. Just opt into 50-50s. Oh, there's the ball control that we've been waiting for. Magnus loses it. Jesse's moved up so close. That's something that you can do if you know, if you know the ball isn't going to travel very far. You can afford to move up really, really close to your teammate, and it's basically cheating uh, in the middle of the game. So this is probably going to happen quite a lot. The other thing that's going to happen is the ball's going to be stuck in the middle of the field and there's no boost in the middle of the field. So that might lead to there being a low boost player or players on both teams. Turbo's just insane though, clearly. Second pop goal, Jesse not even close. I wonder if the ball is going to be able to push someone over the line who's attempting to save it. I'd love to see that. The heaviest ball possible. Jesse's first touch, lacking. He definitely needs to practice this game mode more. It would seem. Throws the cube! Gets saved by Metza. Metza and Magnus, of course, still teammates, by the way. For anybody who's wondering, they're going to be a dream hack this weekend. Turbo's also going to be a dream hack this weekend alongside Kato and Panda, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. Oh my goodness, Turbo with the dribbles onto Metza and the bump onto Jesse. Turbo is bossing this lobby right now. That was pretty nasty. I wonder what the most cancerous, uh, just the worst settings are for gameplay. We've done some pretty bad ones and this has got to be up there with some of the worst in terms of actually encouraging gameplay that takes skill. But what do you guys think is the very worst settings possible? I'm sure that you guys can make it worse than what we're currently looking at. Um, uh, although there's two ways to go. You can either make the ball as crazy as possible, like make it go really, really fast so that people can't keep up with it, or you can do this and make it really slow and immovable. But I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on what the worst game mode, what the worst mutator settings are in Rocket League. Oh, it's a scrum! Jesse versus Metzenoris! In comes Turbo! <laughs> it's a scrum in Rocket League. That's really funny. Oh, Metz is trying to go for a wall play. Takes Jesse out of the game. Now here comes Turbo. He has been the standout player for me so far, no question about it. Um, I I feel like if I could change up one setting between this game and the next, 
it would be to put heavy gravity on, and that would make it so hard to score. I don't know if it'd be, I don't know if it would be possible to score with heavy gravity on. What do you think? Should I put heavy gravity on or low gravity? That would, gravity is the one thing that I want to mess with. If these guys are doing another lobby, I'm going to change it without telling them. Uh, but what, what, what should I change that? Giant cube slow mo. Oh no, we've done that before. We've done this slow mo giant cube. That's really that's something. That's hard to score. Low gravity. You think I should put on low gravity? Yeah. Okay, I can maybe put on low gravity after this. These guys are having quite a lot of fun trying to carry the ball, so I don't want to take that away from them. Yeah, look, heavy. Uh, it's a, a few people saying heavy, a few people saying low. I think this is like the, the ins what mid-season mayhem was supposed to be, was just viewers voting for settings like this. That was the uh, the inspiration for mid-season mayhem, which by the way, I hope they do change the format off into something more of an all-star event in the future for RL RLCS. Alright, just if you want low, then write low one time in the chat. If you want high, write high one time in the chat. Don't spam it, just write it once. Looks like low is the favorite here. So I'll make low gravity. Move the mountain. I could, yeah, move the mountain is a pretty good mode. Could definitely play another move the mountain. It's, I don't know if it's harder or easier to score with less people. It might be, might be harder to score with all the, with less people. All right, yeah, low is the winner. Thanks guys for your contributions. We will do low gravity for the next round and see if it makes any difference. After Turbo's solo goals, there really wasn't much happening here in terms of action. Their main f uh, focus has been on trying to get the ball, or the cube rather, on top of their cars and flicking it, which is quite funny given the fact that it is a cube and it's almost immovable. But I will change this. Turbo saying that was fun, everybody danced. Certainly the standout player, Turbo Paul. So Metsonoros getting carried to victory. He won't be too disappointed with that because I'm sure he feels confident moving forward. Anyway, mutator settings. You can change mutator settings mid series. Low. Yeah, we're doing low. As per request. So we're only changing one setting here. Everything remains the same except one. This is like kind of similar to Move the Mountain, and then we're making it less similar. Because low gravity is the opposite of what Move the Mountain had. For those of you who have seen that video, it's pretty funny. I like that that game mode a lot. Uh, this is the going in the opposite direction now, where we're enabling the players to move the ball and jump higher. So the ball is going to be very heavy, but it's going to fall very slowly because the gravity is low. By the way, the Sark Hazam Hazam, thanks for the sub. Very welcome. Uh, or you are very welcome here. Enjoy your stay. Turbo, I know this isn't a try-hard lobby, but I like I actually do like what he did there, trying to jump off the wall, and after he realizes that he can't reach the ball, side flipping back onto the same wall. Just a recovery mechanic that's starting to appear more and more at the highest level. But I wonder, will the first goal come from the ground or from the air? I've got a feeling that all these guys are gonna be jumping in the air a lot. Because although um Jesse's probably the one player with uh, the strongest ground game, I would say, out of these guys. But he does like to go for air dribbles off the wall and things like that. So I'd, I'd expect to see a lot of pops and a lot of uh, aerial attempts, even though it might not be the most reliable strategy here. This could be extremely difficult to score, though. The one thing that was good about the previous mode is that it was quite easy to keep the ball going in one direction after you got a solid, uh, after you got solid momentum behind it. But this might be really difficult to keep the ball moving at all because um, it's so difficult to control now. We see it's much harder for players to catch it and carry it than it was previously. Notice they have changed up the teams, so Turbo is with Magnus this time. Jesse, good landing onto Turbo. He did that intentionally, trying to fly down on top of the head of his opponent. How do I feel about my doubles partner, Messi Mike, quitting Rocket League? My doubles my doubles partner, is he? Well, I I, I mean, I saw it coming. It was It's a... Uh, perfectly fine. He's able to do that, I'm sure. He can make videos about other stuff and still be successful. So best of luck to him. He's a, he's a cool guy. Probably the the member of F2 that I talked to the most at LAN uh, was Neat Mike. You want to hear them? Now we heard them last game. We're going to try this. We're going to experiment. Find uh, mutator settings that are absolutely terrible for Rocket League gameplay here. Gotta credit Metza Norris, by the way, for the setup. Jesse was the scorer, but Metza won back-to-back 50-50s. So very well done to him. And guys, what do you want to change for the next... Like, I'm going to change one setting again. And I'm thinking... Hmm... I'm thinking if I could change one setting, I'd probably make it a puck. Oh, Turbo is going to freestyle goal, but I think he just got pull-shotted into a save by Jesse. 
Not 100% sure what happened there, it was quite difficult to tell, but it looked like he got pull shot into a save. On what would have been a successful attempt. Time warp? No, not time warp. Time warp is terrible. Do you guys really want to see time warp? That is, oh my goodness. You're, I mean, we are, we are making the worst game mode possible. That's pretty bad. That's really bad. Uh, okay, well, I mean, if time warp is the one you want, then time warp is what we're going to get. Good control by Metza once again. Jesse with another open net tap in. Metza did really well there. That was a very controlled center ball. Congratulations to Metza Norris being the MVP of game two. I thought Turbo was going to be the one to carry this lobby. But it looks like Metza, he has benefited from Turbo's carry in game one. And now he's going to carry game two. Will he be able to win game three? Of course, game three is probably the one you'd expect him to win. That's when he's with his actual teammate Magnus, the two Finns teaming up together. Recently acquired by Method. Really a uh, cool organization. I'm excited to see what they can, they can do together. 10 times boost. So I've seen 10 times boost a lot and I've seen time warp a lot. Um, remember guys, the idea here is to make the worst game mode possible. So we're going to do one or the other. Um, if you want time warp, write time warp once in the chat. If you want 10 times boost, write 10 times boost once in the chat. Just once. Each. What is the best time of year to come to Scotland? Starting to plan a Euro trip. Best time of year to come to Scotland? Probably July or August. I would say the good thing about uh, Scotland is that summer comes late. So compared to other parts in Europe where you might want to go in j like June or July, you, c you can definitely catch summer in Scotland in August. Oh my goodness, Jesse, what a recovery. He might have just flipped. He did flip reset on the cube and then flipped the wrong way. <laughs> that was actually pretty cool though. He recovered from a bump. And took the ball straight into his control midair. Oh, own goal for Metza nearly. They're holding on strong though. Yeah, time warp one. Time warp one. So we're going to do time warp for the last round. It's going to be the worst mode imaginable. But Turbo this time with an assist. He's not done yet. Still probably the standout player. Jesse, I think, got his boost stolen. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Magnus attacking it pretty early at the front post there. But yeah, welcome back to Deccan, by the way. Ten months is a long time. I appreciate that. Airbang from Metza. Demo on contact. No, we, we're, we're just going to do one new thing. We'll maybe do... Or we'll we'll think about the worst game mode in the future. This isn't like... The the intention for this mode was just to make the ball as immovable as possible. For an, uh, the previous lobby that we had, where I was the ball, or impersonating the ball in the Scarab. Uh, that's where we got this ball setting from, and then we're just changing one setting between games to mess with the players, see who can come out on top. But for I'm sure for a future video, we'll do the worst game mode imaginable. We'll just try and make absolutely the worst, without question, game mode in Rocket League. Magnus, is he going to try and flip reset here? He might have actually just done it. He's air dribbling for an incredibly, incredible amount of time here. Metza and Jesse might have a chance to get a goal here. Jesse to the backboard to Turbo should be grinded surely. It's gonna be so hard to keep this up. Excellent content. Eleven months—that's almost a hundred. It's not quite a hundred, but appreciate that, Blind Man Gamer. That is all the months that you could subscribe for. I appreciate it. Welcome back to you. Um, I'm getting ready to. I'm trying to remember to change the settings here. As soon as I uh, update the score. Oh no, sorry, not like this. Like this, right? Yeah, like this. Match settings. Oh, this is going to be so bad. This is going to be the worst. Time warp is actually just the worst thing imaginable. <laughs> this is going to be so bad. We're, we're, we're getting worse and worse. It could get worse, though. This isn't the pinnacle of worst game mode in Rocket League. I'm sure that you can get worse. All right, Metza for the championship. If he can, if he can take this game, then he swept the lobby of small, Im immovable cube. Oh, look at that! Every time that somebody comes near the ball, it goes slow motion, Matrix style. That was actually pretty cool on Turbo's hit, and it might end up in a goal. Oh, Metsa barely keeps it off the line. <laughs> Everything looks like the Matrix. The annoying thing is that sometimes it just slows down for no reason, uh, or it looks like it slows down for no reason. Jesse centering it, but there's no one within a mile to help him out. Turbo. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to take a first touch. Immediately regrets misreading that bounce. The 
thing that really makes this difficult is that players get their rhythm constantly broken and they have to recalibrate and rethink what they're doing all the way through the game, which makes it very difficult. But for the spectator, it's not that bad. Okay, Jesse comes clattering in. We had a normal speed hit there. Turbo in the near post. It's looking very cinematic right here. This is probably a good thing for somebody to make a montage with. Like a good setting to make a montage with because it just like slows down consistently. Oh my goodness, dribbling is so annoying. <laughs> Man, I don't know how Magnus managed to keep control of the ball there because the ball constant or the frames are constantly freezing. The team play. Oh, Mesonaurus misses it. The fins were linking up. But yeah, this is this has got to be terrible to play. There's no doubt about it. Im imagine having to constantly re rethink what you're doing and rethink your approach and rethink your timing. You often hear pros talk about that in Rocket League that they can do things automatically and they don't know uh, why some things come so automatically to them. But it's all to do with where they have the information that they're using stored in their brain. If it's long-term memory or short-term memory, and um, a game mode like this is going to constantly break players uh, focus and bring them into short term memory which is obviously gonna make it difficult to think what they're doing and execute I'm sure that some of these freezes come as a welcome break so that players in the moment that they do really not know what to do can figure out something to do oh Metza and Magnus looking more threatening here Metza playing quite safe here. These guys are a phenomenal twos team. For those of you who aren't aware, Metza and Magnus are one of the most scary 2v2 teams in the world. They play twos together. They play threes together and indeed uh, tournaments with their third player a lot. Very frequently. I don't know if I've ever seen Metza and Magnus play against uh, the good old K-Dop and Fairy Peak lineup. Or indeed other famous lineups like... Um, Greasy and Remco. I'd love to see. Oh, I think Matt said a swift to challenge. Yes, he did. We saw him flying by pretty quickly. And Jesse will go up for this. Metza and Magnus quite patient in their defensive approach. They like to sit back, never throwing themselves at challenges. This is it. It's even translating to this uh, time warp mode. And I believe it's, it's so weird. The thing that's throwing me off is every time I look at the clock I imagine that more time has gone past than it actually has but it's because the time also slows down like literally the seconds move slower when uh, the time warp is occurring which makes it makes it really weird because games feel like they're lasting much longer well they are literally lasting longer even though less things are happening that's a good bump I don't think Jesse read the bump by turbo there he probably wouldn't have barreled in as fast as he did Magnus is looking really imperious right now. The control has been on point. He's dealing with the time warp almost effortlessly. Oh, Metza didn't expect Turbo to miss that. He was going for a block up high on the left. And Turbo just missing the save entirely, or the clear entirely. Met Metza also missed. What can the players win? Uh, the players can win the, the game. They can win the lobby. I mean, it's mainly a pride thing. If anybody put prize money on this, I would be extremely surprised. And I'd question their sanity. This is not something that uh, usually gets attention on the monetary side of things. I still feel like Metz has the favorite. Magnus is stepping up his game here. Turbo and Jesse looking quite disjointed in their offensive moves. Everything getting easily swatted aside, and meanwhile, Magnus and Metza continue to look threatening. Metza with a fake uh, wall shot there, and then dodging back to the wall so he can recover faster. Great, mo great, great wall recoveries by both these guys. The turbo catches the ball quite clean. Metza ambushes him from behind, though. Or Magnus does, I'm sorry. Might be going to our first overtime here, and of course it is... It's got to be harder to score with this uh, mode on Time Warp messing with the players, making it also easier for defenders to figure out what their uh, offensive or what their attackers that are against them are trying to do to outplay them because you just have more time to think. And defending is the one place where thinking is necessary in Rocket League. Oh, that's a good bump by Magnus. And he straight away, he uses the downtime in the time warp to recover. He took that away from the goalkeeper, but also from the goal, and Magnus is still on the ball, recovering even faster than Metza anticipated. 
Yeah, you found a show match ish. Yeah, sorry if you if you came in today for a show match and this is all you get. This is definitely pretty silly. But uh, it, it was it was a requested mode, and I do listen to what people want to see. So if uh, if people want to see this, then I will oblige. This is definitely getting into the into the region of worst mode imaginable. Oh, surely Metza gets the line. Oh my goodness, there is nothing, no goals all game, and then out of nowhere. Goal line technology required to call that off because the ball bounces on the goal line on zero seconds. Metz and Magnus continue to look like the more threatening team in the final round. The synergy from real 2v2 play, even shining through to the time warp heavy cube low gravity. Look at the moves from Magnus. Delayed dodge, and now Metza is going to try and get a setup. No boost to fly back to the ball, but Magnus is in the air. Turbo getting in the way though. Cancels that out. This will be the last uh, silly silly game mode for the day. I don't want to do. I don't want to overdo this. Uh, we some would argue it's already been overdone. Nice challenge by Jesse. I really just want to see what Magnus has got in store for us because he's had so many creative uh, first touches and twists and maneuvers to set things up in offense. Able to deal with the. The mutator settings that we've thrown at him a lot better than anyone else as he as the series of games has progressed. The introduction of time warp really, I think, suited Magnus for some reason. I'm not sure if this is something he's practiced with in the past. He used to be a freestyler. I don't know if that's something that he would have uh, used in his previous job. Snapwack69, welcome back, by the way. Seven months, I appreciate it. Magnus just waiting for Jesse to hit the ball to him there, and now he's got an opportunity. Bumped into position. You can see the ball is just so difficult to manipulate, though. He's trying to work that ball into a favorable position, and it's fighting back because the ball is so heavy. He might have reset his flip there, did Magnus. I wonder if he knows that. Almost wish that we had unlimited boost or recharging boost in that situation, so we could see if he could pull off anything crazy after uh, finally getting the ball under control. Not the best first touch by Metza. Jesse and Turbo getting in each other's way a little bit though. Oh, huge opportunity for Turbo. He might just take a first touch here because it's hard to hit this ball uh, with power. Time warp messing with him. Delayed dodge. Magnus gets a save. Nicely done. Metza also challenging Jesse. But Jesse does well. Oh my goodness, Jesse with a great setup. That was so well done. Jesse denying the clear of Metza. Look at that. He gets up and blocks it and then he dodges the ball center. Jesse heroically saves the game. It looked like Magnus and Metza all the way, but Jesse gets the final play to take it in uh, his and Turbo's favor. That means that Magnus, I believe, despite looking like the strongest player in the last game, is going to finish off with Six no wins. In an Amazon still hasn't figured out I'm scamming them to pay for my subscription. Keep on being the best RL content creator out there. P.S. You knew this was coming. Moi, 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 moi. Much love. Wait, I'll unmute. Boys, what on earth was that? That's got to be one of the worst game modes I've ever seen. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> You're Magnus. How were how you actually so good at the time warp? I don't know. It was actually working for you. But no, that that it could get worse. But the I that, don't that was pretty bad. Know how. <laughs> No, it could get worse. You could like put on um, demo and contact. Uh, wait, I'm not gonna do it. Don't worry, that is enough. But <laughs> I want to see what you could do though. Like the the worst mode imaginable. I'm sure there's something worse. Maybe I am 100% sure I'm gonna miss some balls on normal rocket league this time. <laughs> <laughs> so just a normal Wednesday night for you then, or Tuesday night? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Like, I don't know, well, boost, well, boost strength 10 times, demo and contact. That's probably the only things I can think of well, to make it worse. Well, it's normal Rocket League, we are so... Feel so this weird. is so weird! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, normal Rocket League, every time you go back after the playing anything like that, it's just no, the no. worst. The time warp was too much. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised you all are scared up still.